Today, I'm gonna be making these limited edition Betty Crocker strawberry thumbprint cookies. Uh, the, it sounds pretty easy from the instructions. You need a, a stick and a half of softened butter, not melted, just softened. What you do is you open your box and you're gonna get two things in here. You're gonna get the strawberry, the strawberry, uh, jelly mix and then you're going to get the cookie mix and so you're going to take your cookie mix and you're going to put it in a medium bowl and you're going to take your stick and a half of butter and you're going to mix it until it is well incorporated and this usually takes a little bit of muscle. While you're doing this, you want to be preheating your oven to 375 and you also want to get out a, a cookie sheet and I just, I put a piece of uh, parchment paper on my uh, cookie sheet. So I am going to uh, get this butter mixed in with my uh, mix here. see that this is uh, my dough's mixed up. I sprayed a little bit of uh, cooking spray on my hands. It does not tell you to do this. However, um, I, I don't want that dough to stick all over my hands. So now what you're going to do is you're going to shape the dough into 21 balls. So, and the balls need to be about one tablespoon, which... I'm sure mine are not going to be perfect. And uh, they're supposed to be two inches apart on an ungreased cookie sheet. Like I said, I have the parchment paper, so that'll help out. failed to mention that these were $1.99 at Target, so not a bad price at all. Uh, you will notice that I only got 12 cookies. The serving size is 16 cookies. Now, even though it tells you to make 21 balls, the serving size is only 16 in the box. So, um, I got 12. <laughs> so, you know what though? I'm just, I'm a normal person just like you all. And I'm just trying to show you that if you make these, you might want to make them a little smaller. Okay, so you take your thumb and you're going to press down in the center of each one of these cookies, making a well. So basically make a little hole to where it's not gonna, your strawberry isn't going to run out. And you can tell that I've never made these cookies before. Kevin, if he were to do this, he would probably be excellent at this. And his would probably be perfect. <laughs> Mine are not, as you can see. But I feel like I represent some of you all, so I don't feel bad. Okay, now what you do... And I don't know if my wells are big enough. That's what they call it, a well. So you cut off the side of your bag, your strawberry bag, and you're gonna pour some in each bag. It says about a tablespoon, a teaspoon, is that what it says? A half a teaspoon. Okay, I had less cookies, but I made sure I used every bit of that strawberry. Now. This might run out. I might regret doing that because it might, like this one, that might run out all over the cookie sheet. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Um, these bake for 10 to 13 minutes until the edges are light brown. So I'm going to put them in for 11, and we'll be back. 
Okay, I just took these out of the oven. I left them in for 11 minutes and I checked on them and they didn't look quite brown enough on the outside, so I put them in for an extra minute. So for my oven, it was 12 minutes. So what you do is you leave them on the cookie sheet for two minutes and then you take them off the cookie sheet and let them completely cool before you try them. I'm sure because that strawberry would be like hot lava on your tongue so you want to let them cool off so when they're cooled off kevin and i will be back to try them okay kevin's here with me now and just pick whichever one you I want, want. I want, I want pick one with lots of stuff in the middle though because like this... okay it's firm and yeah the the jelly <laughs> mm. Not bad, I think all the flavor comes from the stuff in the middle though. Yeah, well, I think the cookie, cookie is just a, a, just a general generic sugar cookie. Yeah, it's a pretty bland cookie. Mm -hmm. um, it's good, it's not sweet. It's got a little tartness to it. I like that. The jelly, mm -hmm. you like tart better than I do. Mm -hmm. It has a, I don't say sour, it's tart, it's tart. Like a, I don't even know what these are. I have not been around for making. These oh, are strawberry thumbprint cookies. If you had asked me to identify that fruit, I would not have said strawberry. Really? I have no clue. Well, you wouldn't have, really? Now that you know. Now that I know, mm -hmm. I taste strawberry, but before that I just took a bite, I had no clue. It was just a tart fruit. It doesn't taste as tart that second time. I think you get used to it. Mm, that's what it is. They're good. Mm hmm. Yeah, they weren't um, as hard to do as I thought they would be. Um, something that surprised me Kevin wasn't here when I was making them at all. At all. Um, he just showed up to try them. Just to eat. <laughs> um, what surprised me was I would have thought you would have put the jelly on after they were baked. I don't know why. You but put you put them on before. Yeah. Yeah. It thickens it up. I w see, I would have thought the opposite. I would have thought you're putting this jelly on that it's going to make it liquid because it's going to get so hot that it's just going to run everywhere. So I well, thought the exact did. opposite. It probably did liquefy a little bit more when it was actually hot. Mm -hmm. And then when you pull it on the oven, they were probably you probably could have picked them up and let them run off. Oh, probably. Yeah. But then once you let it cool, then they slip on. Right. That, that was my guess. I don't know. I didn't see it. Like I right. said. Right. Well, I like these. I think they're good. Uh, these are ones, if you don't mind some of them being a little ugly, you know, then you could give these to your guests. I wouldn't want to give these to guests. What did you make the bumps with? Just your finger? Yeah, it says use your thumb. You probably could have used something. I thought about... An instrument, something like a, like the back of a melon ball or... or I was thinking, well, the back of a... a cookie yeah, scoop a cookie or scoop something round awesome. that would give you a little ball shape. Because I thought about using the back of a spoon. Yeah. And, an oval. Right. But um, uh, the back of a cookie scoop would have been really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, How sticky just, were they? I had to spray my hands. Oh, uh, so they yeah. were, you had to spray the cookie scoop. That's too. what I'm thinking. You're going to have to spray. If you do use a spoon or a cookie scoop, whatever, you need to spray it because yeah. that dough is going to stick to it. But. I think I would rather use an instrument yeah, like a to make it more scoop. uniform. But I think the reason they tell you to use your thumb is to make them. They're thinking of the easiest thing possible. Right. They want these to be easy for you and, and they for give it a anybody homemade to be able to do it. Oh, they look homemade. No, but I think they look really good. <laughs> got a few that kind of over overflowed a little bit. But I told yeah. them if you had been doing it, mm -mm. they they would have been perfect. I think they, they, they all would have been perfect. I think she did an excellent job. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Uh, so, I will have a picture for you at the end. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.